I'm looking for my flip flops. I have no idea where they are. I found them. You got Buford here again. And you got this is Oliver, my fiance's dog. He's very loud. He's like half Chihuahua. So we got quite a bit of animals in this house. Just two, well, two tortoises and two dogs. You guys have already met Buford. He's a good dog. As you can see dog hair is already around. We just vacuumed the house yesterday and swept. And hair is already starting to fill the room again. I give no f That's what he says. That's what he just told me. Go on the garage here. Got the car in here all diagonal. All right, guys. So I'm gonna be doing a little headlight install, I guess. Well, just the bulbs. This company sent me these. Um, Nao is the is the company. I'll put the link in the description to these, and uh, I'll show you how they work before you know I, I recommend them. But if I can do this, go bastard. Got it. So. I actually went with the 9006, which is actually what I need anyways. They're LEDs, clearly, and they're, they're, they're plug and play, which is obviously nice. Here they are, that's what they look like. And so I'm just going to be replacing my HIDs I currently have in the truck with these LEDs. And I'm going to kind of see how, how they compare. The lenses on my lights are smoked, so that kind of sucks, but it looks good, so I don't care. Alright guys, this piece finally came in. Um, it's a little clip for the Fomoto valve that I installed on my truck. Alright guys, so... Alright, so... I have a little problem. What we're going to have to do, if you guys can see this, we're going to have to cut out a little bit right here because the, the fan on the bulb it hits like right here. So I'm just going to cut out a little notch right here so we can clear it. It's not a big deal. All right, guys. I don't know if you guys can see. I notched out a little bit. I, just, I couldn't find my Dremel tool, so I just used the, these. I only needed a little bit to get out of there, so it's just cheap plastic. So I moved that. Now I just got to put the, the pin in. A lot of people are asking me what these headlights are. Um, I don't really know the exact brand, but I got them from Retro Diodes. He actually builds custom headlights. And uh, we're probably going to be working together on the next set, the giveaway set. So um, I know I'm all over the place on what I want to do. You know, currently, blacked out headlights really go with the look of my truck, especially after when I get the new wrap. And I'm still not decided on the wrap, guys. Relax. I have so many good choices, and uh, it's hard to make a decision. I don't know if I want to go too crazy, though, like purple or blue. And that blue, though, that blue I posted on Instagram looks so good, but... Um, it's really close to a GM factory paint color, so that's the only thing holding me back really But it looks so good on this truck. I never really was a fan of that color until I seen it on my truck Not to sound like a d-bag, but you know, I think it it makes that blue pop pretty good with all the black accents everywhere All right guys. Well this side is already Notched out. I believe me and my buddy did this a long time ago my first set of custom headlights to clear uh, maybe the projectors but um i'm curious to see if that's enough i might have to go over a little bit more we'll see i'm gonna check it out real quick yeah that one cleared it either way so that one's all good gotta throw the pin in and we'll see how bright they are and obviously we'll i'll check tonight as well good to go show you guys in the daytime how bright they are ain't gonna really do much but we'll see Oh yeah, I can tell. They're, I mean, they're definitely brighter. Definitely brighter. I don't know what the rating is as far as like lifespan go on these these bulbs, but let's see. I should say it. Yeah, thirty thousand hours. Is that what kind of warranty is it? I don't know if it's got a warranty. Either way, they're cheap. If you're like forty bucks for these lights, basically what's saying is three hundred percent brighter than like a standard bulb. 60% less energy used to run these and 10 times the lifespan of a regular bulb. So, all right, guys. So, we as you can see, it's pretty much dark out now. Uh, I was going to show you guys something real quick, tell me what you guys think about it. But, anyways, uh, these are my HIDs. If you want them, let me know, I'll ship them to you. Um, they work fine, they really do. It's just they're old, and I've actually never had a problem with them. but right now but what i was going to show you guys it's gonna be hard to tell because it's dark out but you can see the light off this 
Um, this is a little sample of vinyl wrap that I, I, I ordered online just to see what it looked like. I think I'm gonna put it on the truck just to see how it looks, but I think it's called um, Matte Dark Gray, I believe. And it's pretty cool because it's got like a, let's see if you guys can see. It's got like a little metallic, you know, it kind of sparkles a little bit. When the sun hits it, it's got a little more flake into it. Obviously, this is just lights hitting it, so. But uh, I wanted to see what you guys thought. Uh, your opinion on this color for my truck, or even the car. I mean, it would look good on the car, too. I mean, it's hard to, it, I mean, it's really hard to tell, to be honest, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, also, the key tags are not in stock yet. Hopefully, they will be soon. Out in the truck, I'm gonna move the truck center of the driveway and kind of pull it up to the garage door, and uh, I'll turn the lights on, and if they need a little bit of adjustments, I'll do that. Um, obviously, with the truck's so high, the headlights are gonna wanna shoot into people's eyes, which is fine. But I'm gonna adjust them the way that you know makes them have the most light output. I know turn it left or turn it right. I don't really know how well it's gonna you know affect it, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go move the truck. I'm gonna leave the lights on, and then I'm gonna open the hood. Okay. Wow, yeah, they actually are much brighter to be honest. I kind of think I should, I need to adjust this one down basically with that one. So let me see what it does when I, when I mess with it. Made it like a wider angle, I've noticed. Let me try the other side. Makes like a wider, like a taller beam. You turn it to the right and it's more of a focused beam, like that line. You turn it more to the left and it's like a more dispersed. Oh, that's kind of weird. You can see like lights up there. You got ugly halogen. <laughs> He's so yellow. I think it looks good. Like, take those little, I don't know what that is. It's probably just from the lens. But either way, I mean, I think it turned out great. It's super easy to install. Puts out plenty of light. Alright, so those, those little lines right there are actually from the lens not from the lights i hope you guys enjoyed the video i actually really like that matte dark gray but let me let me know what you guys think also the led headlights i'm pretty impressed with those for being how cheap they are like 38 bucks so <laughs> i'm actually going to put the link to them in the description as well i'm actually about to go pick up some high beams but i wanted to ask you guys a few questions um i've been thinking about doing a little bit of gun stuff at the end of every not every video but doing some gun stuff at the end of some videos like you know, educational thing, gun safety, I guess you could say, and uh, just kind of helping some people. You know, if, if I can help someone handle a gun more safe, then then that's great. So um, I don't want anyone to think these are toys. You see me messing with them right now because I'm about to clean them. I don't want you guys to think that I'm just playing around with these things. You know, they're not they're not toys. Don't ever take a gun lightly. You know, so uh, basically, when I when I go to clean a gun. I'm gonna always keep my finger off the trigger. Only put your finger on the trigger if you're ready to shoot. And uh, obviously I'm indoors, so I won't be ready to shoot. And make sure your gun is clear. What I do is I will, I'll check like this, or you can even do this and, and lock it back. And this is just for handguns, but you wanna make sure any gun's clear. But uh, obviously different procedures for different guns. But you can see the barrel is clear. Obviously do not look through the barrel the other way. Uh, I feel like that's common sense, but for some people it may not be. Uh, make sure it's clear. I don't see anything in there. You can actually shine stuff in there to make sure and confirm. But um, also check the mag well. Make sure nothing's in there as well. Um, never assume a gun's not loaded. Always assume it is and check it because that, that's when bad things happen. You can have all the confidence in the world with your gun and be like, oh, well, I know it's unloaded. And, uh, you know, that's how bad things happen. So don't assume the gun is unloaded. Always check. But yeah, guys, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this, maybe going over some of the guns I own. If you don't like guns, that's fine. That's why I'm going to put this at the end of videos. If you don't want to watch, that's good. Uh, I'm not here to, to have a political debate with you about guns. For those that enjoy guns and want to learn more about guns, then uh, these videos will be here. So just know that. If you guys want to see them, that is. If you guys don't want to see them, that's fine. 
you know, I just want to be somewhat helpful, maybe be a little bit more educational on other things other than trucks and cars. I feel like guns are a little more serious than trucks and cars, and that you're they can be dangerous in the wrong hands, obviously. But uh, yeah, guys, if you guys want to see this stuff, let me know. And I uh, hope you did enjoy that video. And I'm really excited to make the decision on the wrap. And I appreciate you guys helping me out, giving you guys in input and opinions and all of that. A lot of you guys really like the purple. And, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't mind the purple either. I think it looks good. I think it would look better on the Corvette, to be honest, though. Uh, but, you know, I'm not fully opposed to all that. So uh, I do appreciate all the support, guys. And let me know what you guys think about the gun stuff because uh, I think it would be a good thing. It never hurts to, you know, educate some people that are wanting to learn. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. 15K is coming up. And custom headlights I'm giving away. I think I'm going to be giving away a GoPro Hero 6 as well. And uh, I'm going to release how to enter shortly. For those that have already bought merch and all that within the last, like, week, you guys are already uh, entered anyways. So, um, you guys are all good. So, so just know, guys, if you guys do buy some merch from here on out, you're going to be entered in both things. And uh, as soon as the key tags are back in stock, I'll let you guys know as well. And, uh, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.